All right, guys. Let's talk. Hey, guys. How's it going? Otaku Mike here. Back again with another video for you guys today. And today, we are talking about possibly one of my favorite manga slash anime series. It's also a light novel that I personally really enjoy. And we are talking about Welcome to the NHK. Welcome to the NHK is an eight volume manga series that is about a man named Sato, who is what we initially call a hikikomori, who is a person who is deathly afraid of basically interacting with the outside world. He's around in his mid-twenties. He's a college dropout. He doesn't really have anything going for him. He is basically a, a leech. He he mooches off of his parents, getting a, a, a weekly or monthly allowance. Uh, he lives in filth. He just... His life is very depressing. Um, you know, he thinks people are out to get him, especially like the NHK. He is, has weird weird hallucinations and stuff like that but one day um this religious organization comes by and it's like we can help you with your hikikomori uh sickness basically and help cure you he's like no no i'm good you know i don't need any of that um but then the young girl that is with the the woman who talks to him about this the curing his hikikomori uh, Ness, um, she comes back and she's like, hey, come join me in this secret project where I will help you basically attempt to, to help you get a better life. And the young woman's name is uh, Masaki. And Masaki tries to help Sato through various means of... Uh, of psychology and you know stuff like that to help him better his life um, to in an in a nutshell that's basically what the story is is Sato trying to overcome these difficulties in his life and and repair his life and uh, try to make his life better um, than it currently is. Um, he does have his ups and downs. They're big ups and downs. Um, nobody in this series is really perfect. They're all very broken and they all have their own um, things they have to deal with. Even, even Masaki, who you think she's all perfect and stuff and wants to help Sato has her reasons for helping Sato and you know meeting his neighbor who happens to be his his uh a friend I believe it was in high school you know they start making a game together at one point and he starts going to like a, um, a gaming school um to work on to learn how to make video games and whatnot um, and, you know, eventually, at one point, he accidentally gets into a suicide pact with, with his senpai, which is a really, 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 really weird. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't want to spoil too much, but this series is a real hard-hitting look at depression, um, you know, people's troubles, their trials and tribulations. Uh, it's, it's a really, but... I mean, there, this this book does have its downfalls, where there are times where some of the comedy beats mix with the depressing story that don't flow very well sometimes. Occasionally, not always, because it is a dark comedy. There are some comedic moments within this, but where the book really shines is in those depressing character moments, and we get to see our characters especially Sato, um, hit rock bottom, or be at rock bottom, and he rise to the top, and potentially one day, um, 
you know, make his life a little bit better. Um, you know, you could say his... The, NHK really, truly doesn't have a happy ending. It's more of like, your life isn't as shitty now. And ho hopefully it'll get better eventually. That's basically kind of what the concept is of this. Um, it's... It's a really depressing book, and it's not going to be for everybody. Um, the characters are where this book really, truly shine. Uh, it's, it's the the interactions they have are very realistic. I would say, um, you know, especially coming from these self-destructive tendencies that Sato and other people tend to have in this book. It's it's really, really interesting. Um, the artwork is impeccable. I personally really like the artwork. Some people might not like the artwork. I thought the artwork was really, really good. Um, this does touch on some very dark subject matters, like... Um, there's stuff that happens in chapter two, there's drug use, there's stuff like that, you know, there's people wanting to commit suicide, stuff like that. It's, it's a book that's not going to be for everybody. Um, it's, it's probably not going to be, it's honestly probably turn, going to turn a lot of people off. Um, but it's, it's, it's a series I feel like a lot of people really truly, but as I said before, seeing Sato, our main character, come out of this this horrible situation into a somewhat better situation is a it's probably the best part of the story is seeing Sato's journey uh, throughout this whole thing because man boy does he like it's it's hard to watch or read sometimes and see the decisions that Sato makes and how he reacts to certain situations. Um, it's, it's very self-destructive. Um, but honestly, it's, it's probably the best part of this, this book. Um, honestly, uh, it's, it's, it's a must, it's a must read in my personal opinion. I, I can't get enough of this book. Um, there are some differences between the light novel, the manga and the anime. If you happen to watch or read one of them, um, any one is acceptable, honestly. Um, this is out of print, but I believe you can find it fairly easy. I got mine on Right Stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a must, must read. It's, it's really, it's very thought provoking and to see that. I, it doesn't fantasize or um, glorify the Hikikomori otaku culture. It really shines a light on it, and it shows that it's very unhealthy, very um, self-destructive in that matter. And that's one thing I actually really, really like about it, is the series doesn't pull its punches when talking and are, are talking directly to the people who who love manga and anime, um, you know, you can get into that unhealthy lifestyle of just being at home, just you know, consuming all these products and whatnot, not working, not being a full uh, uh, productive member of society, and that's one thing I really truly like about this book is the fact that it doesn't shy away from the things that Sato has to go through when it comes to this this book like him trying to help create a write and create a video game and you know trying to hold down a job and stuff like that it's it's really, really interesting, and I cannot recommend this series enough. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Otaku Mike, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.